All right, how's everybody doing out there in Math Magic Land? That's right, Mr. Muscarel is coming at you today, and we are going to take a look at inverse functions. In fact, I'm going to show you how to tell if they are one-to-one. -one. So let's waste no time. Let's go ahead and get into one of our easiest examples you'll probably see throughout the entire course. Now for this problem, we're going to find the inverse of the function below, and then we are asked to identify if the function is one-to-one. -one. So the very first thing that we're going to do is find the inverse. Now watch carefully. Check that out. What is the pattern? Do you see it? Notice what happens with each x and each y in your coordinate pair. I think you know what that pattern is by now. That's right, they just switch. So when you're given a set of coordinates, you just switch the x and the y to find the inverse of that function. Not hard. Now the second thing we've got to do is identify if the function is one to one. And what I want you to do for this is we're going to analyze each one of our y values. Now this first y value right here, 5, does that 5 repeat anywhere else in my original function as a y value? And if you notice over here for the coordinate 2, 5, it does repeat. Now since the y value repeats, our function is not going to be one to one. And why is that, you ask? Well, it's very straightforward. Our function is not one to one since more than one inputs or x values correspond to the same output because each input has to have a unique output. So the output, the y value, that can't be the same. And in this case, it is for the coordinate negative 2, 5 and 2, 5. Therefore, our function is not one-to-one. -one. Got it? Get it? Good. Now let's move on. Try this one totally on your own. I think you could handle this. So here we go with this one. Same thing again. Find the inverse of the function below. Identify if the function is one-to-one. -one. Go ahead and hit pause now and come back when you are done to see if you got this correct. So how'd you do with this? Hopefully, you got the inverse of the function correct. Now, Analyze the y values again in the original function. Notice, not one of those repeats, so this time our function is one to one. So now we've got a little bit justification to write for this, and how do you write that, you ask? Don't worry, Muscarella will show you how to do that. Bam, there it is. Our function is one to one, since each input x corresponds to one unique output y. That's it, that's all you gotta write for that. So hopefully by watching this video, you now know how to find the inverse of a function if you're given coordinate points, and you can tell how to identify if the function is one-to-one -one based on the information you've got. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll catch up with you guys later on. Peace out.